Yes, so here, beta. <coughs> Whatever that I explained that to you here regarding to graph, actually graph clearly shows that as the number of charges will increase, ionization energy that will increase. Okay. Okay. Yes. Why? Because that when the new num nuclear charge will increase, then there will be maximum number of electron in the outermost shell or not? Tell me. Yes, that's right. And if there will be maximum number of charge beta, then the force of attraction towards nucleus that will be maximum or not? Yes, that's right. Yeah, simply that in that condition, if force of attraction that will be maximum, then the size of nucleus that will size of nucleus that will decrease or not yes it will decrease that's right and if that will decrease then there will be maximum amount of energy to emit electron from that atom or not yes that's right that's easy so that and means that ionization energy that will increase <laughs> oh okay okay so how is this represented in the graph no, no. here simply but here you can see that wait hold on yeah, sure. I am writing on a screen Yes, give me a second. Yes, it is here. So, beta, actually, this graph shows simply this graph shows simply that here you are seeing that it is graph with respect to ionization potential or ionization energy to the nuclear charge. So, beta, yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 onwards, okay? Okay. So, as you are seeing that nuclear charge is increasing, okay? Increasing, yes, that's yeah. right. Okay, and regarding to that ionization potential, uh, ionization energy that you are seeing that, okay? Yes. Ionization energy, okay. So, if nuclear charge is increasing, force of attraction towards nucleus that will increase, so atomic size will decrease, so there will be maximum amount of energy to emit the electron, okay? Yes, that's right. So this this is this graph is explaining that the same thing, okay? Oh, okay, okay. And what's the difference between the dotted line and the lines with circles? No, no. With a dotted line and dark line, okay. You can see here. Here is here is your dotted line, okay? So okay. dotted line that means here, here on the first place. It's ionization energy that was greater, okay? Okay. Yeah. And when the nuclear charge that is increasing, okay, then the ionization energy that is getting down, okay? Okay. But again that it is increasing, okay? Oh, again, in the second that period. For the so second period, okay? And then for the third period, okay? But here, beta, with respect to period, they are explaining, okay? Not left to right, okay? I am oh. explaining here. I am explaining here from left to right, okay, beta, from left, yes. yeah, I am writing here from left to right, okay, left to right, from left to right, okay, ionization energy, ionization energy increases, okay, increases, okay, yes, and from, from up to down, up to down, okay, so ionization energy decreases, okay? Ionization energy decreases. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Why? Because that in your previous video, I explained that, that when the atomic size will increase, okay? Okay. Like this. Zero, 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 oh, zero, and zero. Like this, okay? So you yes. can see that the nuclear charge that will be a little bit away from the nucleus or not yes that's right and if the nuclear charge will away from the nucleus so the force of attraction will be less okay okay force of attraction that will be less okay yes that's so right. it will be much easy okay or minimum energy minimum energy energy required okay okay required to emit electron, okay? Emit electron, okay. Electron, electron, that is ionization energy decreases, okay? Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see. Yes, that's clear? Yes, this one's clear. Oh, okay, okay. 
So yeah, I think we can move on to the next picture as a result. Okay, that's great. That's great. Because but they are not explaining uh, means uh, regarding to means period. Uh, they are explaining. Uh, yeah, they are explaining about period. They are not explaining about groups. Okay. Yes. Yes. So regarding to group, left to right, regarding to period, up to down. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm changing picture, but I have to refresh this one. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yes. It is saying that uh, I'm not trying to reach phone, but phone is here. Yeah, my phone is here. Wait a second, but it's coming, please. <laughs> yeah, now it's came again. So let's move to the next picture. I'm opening that. It is coming. Yes. So of that picture, beta, then uh, give me one second. Yes. Now here, here. And the next picture that you send me this one, beta, okay? Yes. I will yes, try sir. to explain you in... Um, means, yeah, verbally that I will try to explain you. Yeah, but that's fine, I, that's fine. This is yes. like a revision, I said. Yes, yes. But uh, trends of ionization energies, okay? I explained just before to you in a very convenient and deep manner, okay? Okay. So, here, but uh, you can see that across the period and down the group, okay? Across yes. the period, okay, trends, trend, actually periodic table. In periodic table, trends are very, very, very important. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So that means uh, as we move from left to right, okay. Okay. That means with respect to different periods, okay. Suppose that <coughs> as we move from lithium to neon, okay. Okay. Across the period two, okay. The yes. nuclear charge increases as the number of proton increases. Yes, nuclear charge increases as the number of proton increases. Give me one second. I'm explaining on a screen. Yes, so here, but they are writing that nuclear charge increases as the number of proton increases as we know as we know that that number of electron electron equals to number of proton or not yes that's right proton so that's why they are saying that when the nuclear charge nuclear charge that means number of electron will increase so in the same manner that number of proton will also increase okay yes so in this way on its own would lead an increased attraction between the nucleus and the electrons okay oh okay 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 and therefore a decreases in energy of the outermost electron okay okay and increases the first ionization energy so why does it increase the first ionization energy um, oh no means first ionization energy that means uh, when in that condition there will be number of electron increases okay so in that condition size will decrease yeah the same thing yes. that they are explaining when size will decrease then if you want to emit one electron that's why that you will require more amount of energy or not yes that's right yes that's why they are saying that the first ionization energy increases okay oh so can i say this way if there if there is a decrease in the energy of the outermost electrons uh, sorry if there's an increased attraction between nucleus and electrons 
Therefore, the, uh, the atomic radius decreases and the attraction increases. As a result, more energy is required in the first ionization energy. Yeah, maximum maximum energy is required to emit electron. Okay, that means that the first ionization energy that increases. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Yes, yes, that makes sense. That yes, makes sense. and also that if you if you will if you will tend to if you will tend to uh, means uh, release one more electron. Then in that condition, that uh, ionization energy that will be a little bit less, okay? Ah uh, yes, actually because because then the attractive force decreases, so it's easier yes. for yes the, yes because the sorry, yar, most important thing is that when you are releasing one one electron, okay? So that means so when its size will decrease, okay? When its yes. size will decrease, then in that condition it is a mag you will require maximum amount of energy to emit first electron. Then for second electron that will be a little bit less energy, okay. And then for the third one it will be a little bit less less, okay. In that condition. Oh, uh, so it continues to decrease as a result. Yes. Yes, yes. Understand? So this is a special case as a result because usually the ionization energy increases because from shell to shell because the deeper we go. But in this situation, if one more electron is added to the shell, in this case, sorry, if one more electron is taken away from the shell, in this case, Beta. the first ionization energy is the most powerful, and yes, the rest of them partly, are less. Partly, partly we can say that maximum amount of energy that is required, okay, to emit first electron, then a little bit less, but a little bit less, okay, and so on, okay. But overall, mm -hmm. we can say that if we will move from left to right, okay. The ionization right. energy that increases, okay. Ah, oh, I see, I see. So as a yes. result, we can use the periodic table simply to find the strength. Yes, 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 yes. I have a book in which one that is written clearly. Yes. 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 Okay. So they are not explaining about the first ionization energy or second ionization energy. First ionization energy that is uh, that is uh, that means that uh, emitting of first electron. Okay. Yeah, the first or one thing. electron, or uh, in the second case, emitting of second electron. So as usual, you know that uh, when you will release one electron, okay, then maximum amount of energy that will release, okay, and then when you will tend to move second electron, then regarding to first case, the one number of electron, one electron that will be less in atom, atom or not. Yes, that's right. So for the second condition, a little bit less amount of energy that will be required because force of attraction that will also be less there. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, that's right. yes. So, beta, you can see that here, here, here. A increase in nuclear charge is more significant than the increase in electron electron repulsion. Yes, that's right. So there is a general increase in first ionization energy across a period, okay? Yes. Do you understand that? Yeah, this one I understood. This one Great. I understood. Yes. And down the group, beta, same thing. Down the group, I think that they will give same explanation as I explained that to you. Yeah. Here you can see that in the group first, from lithium to calcium, okay? Yeah. The number of charge increases as the number of proton increases. Yes, yeah, this is as obvious. Usual, the shell is increasing. Okay. Yes, and also I can say proton increases, electron increases as a result the nuclear charge yeah. increases. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So this will lead an increased attraction between the nucleus and electrons. Okay. Okay. So if attraction will increase. And therefore, a decrease in energy for the outer electron. I think that it's a little bit typical. Okay, it's a little bit typical to understand that. But in which way that I explain that, that is the perfect way to understand. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. So I think that if you learn that, yes. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I am sending you one thing. Okay. Okay. Just. Uh, Actually, sometimes I forget that because there becomes continuous classes of mine. So in that condition, sometimes I means almost that I have promised many times that I will send pictures to you, but always I forget that. Okay, hold on, beta. Yeah, because because my book is a little complicated. Yes, yes, it is complicated, and I am sending you. And if your teacher, you have to learn in the same way. Okay. 
Okay. And it is a type of proof that uh, if your teacher would like to ask you that uh, from yes. where you are writing this one or any else, so you can you can tell him or her that this book is Viraf J Dalal. Okay. He is a merit uh, HOD of chemistry in Merit University. Okay. Okay. Yes. Give me one second. Give me one second. I am sending on WhatsApp. Hold on. Uh, oh, sorry. Why I called you? Wait, 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 wait. Give me one second. I'm taking a screenshot about the bridge element. Whatever that I explained that to you clearly that I'm sending you. Yes. Bridge element. Yes, I send you the first one. And regarding to beta ionization energy, give me one second. Give me one second. And beta, you know that I think that periodicity, I think periodic table you are, uh, are learning. Okay. So one question that is very, very important. Okay. One question that is very, very important that what is periodicity of properties? Okay. Okay. So periodicity of properties that I am sending you. Okay. Here is periodic property, okay? Periodicity of the properties are the periodic function of the elements regarding to their atomic number, okay? Periodicity of properties. Oh, sorry. Uh, I dictate that but uh, it is written pod city of peace <laughs> periodicity okay, that is sometimes yeah yes yes, yes yeah. sometimes and also beta with respect to atomic size yes yes now here yes 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 ionization potential but clearly that is on my on my here in my in front of me i am sending it to you give me one second Trends of ionization potential. Yeah, ionization potential or ionization energy. That's the same thing, beta. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. wait, one more picture regarding to this one because you are uh, understanding this one. So, very, very easiest way that I am sending it to you. Yes, I send that. So suppose that whatever that you are understanding here, yeah, oh wait, wait. If you would like to go back, give me one second. Give me one second. I am refreshing that one. Yes, beta. So I will explain you in a very, very, and you, and of seeing those pictures, you will clearly understand that whatever that I explained that to you up to this time, each and everything that is totally related to whatever that I send you pictures. Okay. Yes, so give me right. give me one second give me one second that uh, sir uh, can we have another class i guess me what uh sir can we change the class schedule for our monday class yes so instead of having the class on monday can we have that same class maybe uh Maybe around tomorrow instead of Monday, sir, because the problem with Monday is after school I have an activity for Monday. I just remembered. No that. problem, beta. So, so I want you to can do class you can do, on Sunday. Yeah, you can do class on Sunday, beta. Yes. So tomorrow yes, so then. Have, yes. So can I have a class tomorrow Sunday at around your time? Uh, same four o'clock your time. Uh, four o'clock. Yes, yes, I can see you. Yeah, no problem. Yes, because I'm not sure about the Monday time. I don't, don't want to call or cancel the time. So as a result, I just want to make it Sunday. Right? No problem, Mita, no problem. Yeah, just see that. I explained that about a bridge element. Wait, wait. A little bit that I am... Uh, yes, sorry. But I think that a little bit you can see that bridge element clearly. 
I if you would like to see my previous class video I also learned this one when I was just like as in your grade and that the element with so similarities in properties with period 3 elements of the next group okay they are yes. known as bridge element okay Oh, okay, I okay. think that the same thing that I explained in your previous class in written, huh? Yes, yes. Yes. Lithium, magnesium, beryllium, aluminium, boron, silicon. Okay. So, lithium, beryllium, boron, they are bridge element and magnesium, aluminium, silicon, they are typical elements. Okay. Yes. And also, but regarding to your trends, if you would like to, it is your periodicity of properties. Okay. So, periodicity yeah, yeah. of the properties are the periodic function of the elements regarding to their atomic number. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You can see that their atomic number. Yes. When you will read this one, then you can understand. And periodic properties. Yes. Also, that is written here. Okay. So, next one, I can open that one here. Yes. It is in this one clearly you can understand what is ionization potential as in written in your book a little bit much convenient way that is written here the energy required to remove wait I am increasing a little bit more yes energy are you able to see clearly on your screen yes yes I can see it yeah but it's a little bit uh, tilted so yeah. the energy required to remove or lose loosely bound electron from the outermost cell of an isolated gaseous atom oh sorry that is known as your ionization potential or ionization energy okay clearly you can see also here that when element would like to release one electron then it forms m plus ion or not yes that's right yeah so it is your first ionization potential okay yes that's right yeah. and when m plus will lose one electron then it will form m double plus or m plus two it is your second ionization potential clear? yes that's right yeah the second ionization yeah this one's clear yes and then beta they are as they are explaining that uh wait a second uh, can i open this one uh, are you understanding over here yes that's what i understand yes yes okay then factors which affect the ionization potential there are two factors which affect ionization potential you know what first one is your atomic size and second one is your nuclear charge so atomic size how atomic size will affect so atomic size increases means as the atomic size increases ionization potential that decreases okay okay and as usual you know that if you will move from up to down okay then atomic size will increase or not yes that's right arjit here you can see that what i explained that it's proof is here that ionization potential that will decrease okay and oh. also how why 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 reason for the effect okay okay so means as atomic size increases ionization potential decreases if question will be why then answer is with increase in atomic size the nuclear attraction on the outer electron will be decreased or not yes that's right and hence the outer electrons are loosely held that means require least amount of energy to emit or remove clear yes that's right that's yeah right. you can see that in a very simple way that is written here okay Oh, okay, okay. Yes, okay. and the other factor that is nuclear charge, bete. So nuclear charge, if nuclear charge is increasing, then ionization potential is increasing. How? Nuclear charge increase, then ionization potential increase. So that means if you are moving from left to right, that nuclear charge will increase or not? Yes, that's right. And I explained you just before that the size of atom that will decrease or not yes that's right and if size of atom will decrease so that means there will be maximum amount of energy required to emit the electron from the outermost cell yes that makes that sense that means it's ionization energy that will increase yes that's right clear yes yes that's yeah, right, the that's same right. thing you can see also that is written here with the increase in nuclear charge 
the nuclear attraction on the outermost electron that increases yes that's why the size will decrease and hence the outer electron requires more energy okay oh yes 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 understand that yes this one i understood great now the next one yeah from up uh, left to right beta so clearly you can see that here you can see that ionization energy increases across a period that means left to right okay left to right oh okay 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 yes and logic is that again i am repeating beta logic is that means uh, it may be possible that in your uh, test that teacher would like to ask you a question that uh, means one question that may be in this type of like uh, write down the trends regarding to ionization potential okay in periodic table okay that yes. means you have to explain from left to right and up to down okay both okay yes that's otherwise right. they would like to ask separately that means uh, what will be the trends regarding to uh, means uh, uh, what will be the trends of ionization energy okay regarding to periodic table when we will move from left to right okay so that yes. means you first in first one that uh, first way that you have to write that ionization energy increases across the period that means from left to right okay and if that is two marks question then you have to write reason also there why because as the nuclear charge increases okay the force of attraction towards nucleus that will also increase that means the atomic size will decrease that means it will require the maximum amount of energy to lose electron okay yes yes that's right that's right and next beta when you will move uh, when you will move from up to down that means like uh, lithium sodium potassium rubidium calcium francium and all that okay so yes. you can see that it doesn't matter of it doesn't matter of their outermost uh, um, electron because they will be constant okay okay because they both uh, means all contains in one electron in their outermost cell but what is the main thing main thing is that their atomic size that is increasing here okay so as the atomic size is increasing so the outermost electron that will be a little bit far away from the nucleus or not definitely that's right and if that if that will be far away from the nucleus then 100% there will be least amount uh, there there will be least force of attraction over there okay yes that's right and if there will be least force of attraction so 100% that very easily that uh, uh, it would like to release or it would like to get off from the nucleus okay yes that's right do you understand that yeah this one i understand that's why that they are saying that from down the group that is from up to down okay the ionization energy or ionization potential that decreases okay oh uh, okay 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 do you understand that <laughs> yes yes that's right that's okay right. so, so beta, i next... think we can move on to the next image i guess yes so beta what your picture that uh, i send you okay hold on hold on give me a second uh this one uh, wait wait give me a second and this one uh beta uh give me a second give me a second i am opening that beta okay hold on uh yes this one i explained that to you bete ha huh? yes yes first ionization energy second yes yes first ionization energy second ionization energy this one also i explained that to you and uh, okay now it is your this page what is given uh, the one on top the one on top the paragraphs on top hold on here is written this continues down the group second b as each new quantum shall be added are yaar they are explaining the same thing that as we move from up to down then then regarding to the regarding to the number of electrons the shell would like to increase or not yes that's right and if the shell would like to increase then force of repulsion okay then force of repulsion that will also increase Okay yes that's right beta you just have to understand in this way that means when the electrons would like to be away from the nucleus in that condition there will be very least force of attraction that means maximum will be their force of repulsion okay yes that's right that's right clear 
so yes. if there will be if there will be maximum force of uh, repulsion so 100% it will increase shielding effect okay increase the shielding From, effect yeah, okay yeah that means inner inner electrons they will they will protect the nucleus okay and yes. after, and due to least amount of <clears throat> due to least number of uh, least amount of force of repulsion okay so in that condition ma minimum amount of energy that is required to emit the electron okay yes 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 understand beta yeah this one i understand this one I understand. on they are also explaining that on this occasion the combined effect of adding an extra cell and increasing the shielding is more significant than increase in nuclear charge so the first ionization energy decreases down the group okay yes from lithium to calcium okay oh okay okay, okay. yes means the same thing they are also explaining that okay oh okay okay yes 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 yeah and also you can see that it will never change why because the, they are also writing here there is no general trend in first ionization energy in group third elements okay group third elements yes that's right yes means simply you have to understand that whatever i explain that to you that is the general trend regarding to ionization energy or ionization potential clear yes that's right that's right so beta this picture do you understand that yeah this one i understand okay that's great so next will be yes so oh for... you don't have to worry about this image you don't have to worry oh. about this yes 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 i'm yes. actually sending you a few more images which are very important because these two images i think are the last thing which are for my textbook that's why one second but uh, and here group period blocks i think that i explained this one to you but yeah groups... this one you don't have to worry about like, yeah like yes, i yes. said you already explained this that's why you don't have to worry about this one i'm so so but uh, uh, i explained all the oh okay you are sending pictures give me one second i'm refreshing these are two different graphs about this is the last part of my uh chapter i see yeah yeah no problem but, uh, no problem so there is only one picture there should be two right there. I don't I my Wi-Fi is a bit stagnant. <laughs> what? Your wife? What? Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Oh, sorry, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Wi-Fi. I was talking about Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is in <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I went that on. You understand. <laughs> oh my god, I really miss it. In few seconds, that I realized that oh my God, that in China that uh, a student would like to marry within uh, means a younger age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And instantly I thought that uh, oh my God, that uh, um, your father didn't tell me about that one that you are married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but just see here. I think that you sent me this picture. Okay, I'm uh, writing on a screen, and then it will be much convenient for you to understand that. Okay. So yes, here it is. So here you can see that beta. Uh, oh beta, it is related to atomic number and radius beta. Okay? okay, atomic number and radius. And I explained that to you. Oh my God, Arjit, if you would like to see that, I explained this one to you. Yar, <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. From left to right okay yes are you able to see red color uh can you use white because that's the yes easiest color, i think, I think so I yes think. i don't know that white is not coming clearly okay so we can use white hold on give me a second oh no 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 yeah so from now you are able to see yes yes much much clearer yeah left because I am writing on black, so that's why that a little bit, uh, uh, it is a type of illusion. That's why you are not able to see properly this one. But uh, when you would like to see your video, then you'll be able to understand that what I am writing here on my screen. Okay, from left to right, okay? Yes. So what happens? So left to right, uh, number of electrons increases or not 
Yes. Increases. And if number of electron will increase, force of attraction increases or not? Yes, force of incre uh, attraction uh, increases. Yeah, give me a second. Attraction and uh, increases, okay? Oh, wait, sorry. I have to choose another color. Attraction yes. increases, okay? Yes. And if force of attraction will increase, then force of attraction increases, that means the size, okay? Yes. Side, so, sorry, size decreases, okay? Yes. Okay, do you remember that uh, diagram? I mean, suppose that if a nuclear charge will be okay all around there, okay, so in that condition they will apply the force of attraction towards nucleus, okay? Yes, yes, so in that condition they would like to tend to come close to each other, okay? So now yes. the next condition, then in next condition they will be approximately over here, okay? Yes. So you can clearly understand over here that the size that is decreased, okay? Yes. So when the force of attraction that will increase with respect to an atom, that means shielding effect that increases, okay? Shielding effect increases, yes. Yes, that's because right. they will protect the nucleus, okay, from outside, okay? Yes, yes. That means uh, not a type of energy that would like to affect after then. And if it will do so, then the size of atom that will decrease or not, beta. Yes, that's right. So the first trend which I explained that to you related to atomic number, okay, and radius, that when the atomic number increases, okay, from as we move from left to right, number of electron increases, okay. Number of electron increases, okay. Oh, no, are you number of electron or atomic number? That is the same thing, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Atomic number, we know that atomic number, hold on. We know that atomic number, that is number of electrons. And protons. Okay. Or number, number of, protons. of proton, okay. Yes. Proton, okay. So here, beta, as the number of electrons that are increasing, okay. So, in that condition, force of attraction will increase, and if force of attraction will increase towards the nucleus, then the size that will decrease. Clear? Yes, that's right. Now, as we move from up to down, okay? Okay. So, up to down, in that condition, beta, as the, as the nuclear size, okay? Yes. As the nuclear size or number of electrons that will increase, so in that condition, the distance between the nucleus and the outermost cell, that will increase or not? Yes, that will increase. Okay. So that in that way, there will be least force of attraction or not? Yes, that's right. And if there will be least force of attraction, okay, so the size will increase or not? Definitely, yes. That's your trend regarding to atomic number and radius. Oh, so as a result, that's why when the radius is significantly yes, decreasing, the what your, beta, whatever I explained that to you, I am giving evidence of this one. Just see your this. Sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, this, this, this. Okay. As a result, so what they're basically showing is they're showing one period, like in this case, period two and period three, and they're showing that uh, as the period, uh, as the radius is decreasing among the periods, the atomic number is increasing, right? Yep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yes. Trend in covalent radii, okay, across the second and third period. So, beta, beta, second and period, beta, second and third period. So, period, that means second period that will be above, third period that will be down, okay? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, because period that will be this one and group that will be column, okay? Yes, that's right. Do you know about right. that one? Yes, uh, don't be confused about that. But a period, yes. uh, there were seven horizontal periods, okay? Seven, seven horizontal rows, period. that is your period. So it is period two, it is period three, okay? 
okay so in period 2 beta you can see that there will be less number of electrons okay and in period 3 there will be less number of, I mean, there will be little bit more number of electrons okay yes that's right yes and also you can see that as we move as the atomic number increases okay so regarding as the atomic number increases beta then you can see that it's a size that is decreasing or not you can see that radius is decreasing arjit just see yes. period second just see period second period at, second yeah okay. at, uh, as the atomic number is increasing okay okay the period uh, the atomic radii that is decreasing or not yes that's right clear yes. why because when the nuclear charge that will increase force of attraction will also increase that's why the size will decrease okay yes this one i understood this and one I understood. with respect to period 3 that's the same thing also that where is over there okay so here you can see that from sodium to chlorine okay so here you can see that firstly it was approximately 16 and then from 16 it would like to move up to here from 0 0.08 okay yeah Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So here also you are seeing that from sodium to chlorine, as the atomic atomic uh, please sorry, as the number of number of electrons in the outermost cell or nuclear charge you can see any anyone that you can understand regarding to you, okay. Uh, so if the number of electrons or the nuclear charge that will increase from left to right, okay, then force of attraction that will increase, and if force of attraction will increase then. 100% that size will decrease, okay? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Clear? Yes, this one is clear. This one yes, is clear. beta. Uh, yeah, oh my God, you can see here. Beta, beta, you can see that. Uh, you can see that radius decreases across the period, okay? You can oh. see that. Yeah, just I'm underlining that. I think that now you'll be able to, wait. Uh, are, are you able to see this one green color yes uh, are you able to see green color or red color more conveniently uh, can you try black black also works fine black okay hold on give me a second I'm using black okay, give me a second. yep so here Firstly that whatever I am underlining that it will record in your video as well as that you will also really, uh, be able to understand that they are also explaining that radius decreases across each period, okay? Yes, that's right. Now they are giving reason, okay? Because as the number of protons in the nucleus increases, so does the nuclear charge. That means nuclear charge will also increase, okay? yes that's right actually for many years that i was not able to understand that what is this means that means because as the number of proton in the nucleus increases so does the nuclear charge what does it mean then after many years that then i understand that oh my god they are explaining this two things over here that as the number of protons in nucleus increases the nuclear charge also increases yes <laughs> oh, yes yes, yes. yes. so right. does the nuclear charge that means it means that nuclear charge will also increase okay yes yes that's yeah. right now that's you can see that this result in increase in the attractive force between the nucleus and the outer electron or not yes that's right arjit my god beta you can see that thank god that it is also written in your book and when when the nuclear charge or attractive force will increase okay this increase in attractive force offset the increase in electron electron repulsion yes and what as do you mean the, by the electron electron repulsion yaar, electron electron repulsion that means suppose that you can see that here okay, okay. so electrons in first uh, means suppose that yeah like this okay so in three three orbits okay electrons yes. are there okay so okay. as usual electrons are there of having same negative charge okay there yes. will be a type of negative 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 okay all that so in between them there is also a type of force of repulsion okay 
Yes, that's right. But they are saying that increase in force of attraction towards the nucleus. Okay, you can see yes. that. The nucleus is applying the force of attraction. Okay. Force of attraction. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. When it is applying force of attraction, then each and every electron that will tend to come close to nucleus or not. Yes, that's right. So in that condition, force of repulsion that will be less or not. Yes. Regarding that's to right. force of attraction, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Are yar, I mean to say that when, yeah, that means force, force of attraction, attraction, okay, towards, towards nucleus, okay. Yes. Towards nucleus, okay. Oh, force okay. of attraction towards nucleus that will be greater, okay. Greater than than electron electron repulsion, okay? Greater than electron electron repulsion. Yes, yes, yes. That makes. Or sense. you can understand in this way, bitte. That are yar. You can see that there will be a force of repulsion between them here or here or not, ah? Huh? Yes, that's right. Yar, simple understanding is that, okay? Here will be suppose that two newton, okay? Two newton, okay. Now. And you can see that electrons are very close to each other. Okay, then yes. as usual, you can understand very, very clearly that whatever force that will be applied over here to all, okay, that will be more than or not. Yes, that's so right. So it will be approximately 20. <laughs> okay, so 100%. Yes. That's why that I am writing that the same. Okay, uh, that okay. force of attraction towards the nucleus that is greater than the electron electron repulsion. And if that will be there, so in that condition, okay, the outer shell that will start to increase. Okay, yes, that makes sense. That makes Understand? sense. Understand? Yes, yes, great. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so I think we're done with this image. Uh, I think we can move on to the last image. Which is yes, there. why not? Yeah. Very good. Because after that, the chapter will be finished. Because next class, I want to discuss a few past paper questions with you. Because some of the past paper questions answer. The last I image. Understand. Which one is your last image? Uh, after that, there's one more image, I believe. Oh, you are sending one more image? No, no, they, I already sent it. Wait, did you I send it to the wrong person? One second, I hope yeah, not. Yeah, I am. I am refreshing that one. Do you understand clearly? Yes, yeah, I sent it to you. I sent it to you in WhatsApp. Yeah, give me one second. It's coming again. Okay, I'm opening that. Hmm. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, this you, is the last one that. from uh, my chapter. Okay. No problem, beta. I'm okay. explaining that to you a little bit. I'm enlarging, and then I'll explain in screen. Yes. Give me one second. And now, yeah. First, I'm not just. Oh, wait a second. First ionization energy. Beta, just see that. In yes, this sir. graph, oh, your teacher explained this one. You know that where? On, on In your book, in your copy. Okay? Oh, okay. Yes, okay. your teacher. What I explained that to you, here you can see clearly. Here you can see clearly. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yes. So here you can see, yes, clearly that uh, you can see that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Here it is your atomic number, okay? Yes. Increasing, increasing, increasing atomic number, okay? And here that is your ionization energy, okay? Yes. So you can see here, firstly, having two electrons. Two atomic number two, 
So okay. you are seeing that it's an energy that is here, okay? Approximately, Approximately 1,250, I guess. No, 1,250. Well, it's no. not middle in. Oh, it's okay. not in middle. So a little bit we can predict that it's the 1,300, okay? Okay, 1,300. Okay. So hydrogen, then it becomes a helium, okay? Uh, yes. Okay, wait, helium. That you can see that a helium that is 2400 okay but hydrogen and helium okay and then you can see that a lithium okay it was your yeah. first period okay it yes. was your first period hydrogen and helium for second period okay it is of your first period first period first period yes hydrogen and helium yeah it's a first period then next is your it is your second period okay wow there's a sharp jump yeah yes, second so period. in that condition from 2400 instantly it get down that's why your teacher that would like to assign this one as dotted okay because the energy that is getting decrease over here okay in yeah. the second period you uh -huh. know that why your teacher explain here of decrement of energy because, because you are in first period when you move in second period so you can see over here you can see like this first period element is here second period element is here okay so yes. whatever energy will be in first period that will be less than in second period or not yes that's right because i explained that to you it, as as you know that the size size in second period element that will be more than size of first period okay yes so as the size will be more so regarding to that force of repulsion that will be that will be greater so in that condition ionization energy that will be less okay uh, can you say so, that last sentence one more time yeah, just to last i am time. telling you beta i explained that means from left to right it increases okay Left to right increases, okay. And yeah, up to down it will decrease or not ionization energy. Yes, that's right. So you can see that it is up to down, okay? Up to down, okay. So it will decrease. That's why that your teacher assign as dotted because energy will decrease here. Okay? Oh, okay and okay, then okay, okay. and then it is your second period. So regarding to second period, then again it is starts to increase, okay? One by one element, okay? yes yes and then it will reach up to here okay and then in the third period in the in the in the in the in the third period then again that you are seeing that it is getting down okay because why because then there will be the third oh wait hold on there yes. is the third period is this one okay okay so again in third period also the energy that will decrease with respect to the second one okay it represents the second one okay Yes. So now that, again that from neon, again when you will come to sodium, then energy will decrease. Okay? Yes, that's right. So, and then from sodium, it is your third period. Period yes. 3. Okay? Third period. Okay. And then you can see that from sodium, and regarding to period that ionization energy increases, so a little bit it will start to move further okay and then after that in the fourth period it will again come down right yeah it will again come down yes that's oh, right so it's like a periodic graph like up down up yes. down up it's down a, oh. yeah now you understand this one yes i do it's a little tricky concept but yeah i think i got it i think that i explained in a very convenient way beta so that you can understand that why it is why after helium why it is uh, why your teacher explained by dotted line dotted line that means now your ionization energy is getting decreased and when it will reach up to lithium then again regarding to period it will increase and then because it's a second period and then again uh, up to when it will reach up to neon then again it energy would like to come down because the because the third period will would like to start after then okay yes yes that's right understand and then it will be so when it will reach up to sodium then again it starts a third period then again, it will start regarding to your period, okay? Uh, okay. And it's from left to right, okay? Left to right, yes, yes, yes. Clear? 
yes yes beta and next beta hydrogen and helium they are explaining about electronic configuration do you understand clearly this one yeah this one i understood clearly yes just to try to hear what i am explaining in this uh, class beta and then you will be able to explain this graph i almost that a little bit i am also quite sure that your teacher would like to give this graph and uh, they will ask you regarding to explain this one explanation okay yes yes so hydrogen right. and helium beta hydrogen having one electron in the outermost cell so it will be 1h1 and a helium that will be 1h2 okay okay so you can see that hydrogen and helium as we move from left to right so in that condition hydrogen that is before helium okay so in that condition the atomic size of helium that will be less than hydrogen okay so ionization energy that will increase in helium okay yes that's right that's because right. the nuclear charge is increasing in helium than hydrogen okay yes that's right that's understand right. yeah this one i understood anomalies anomalies that means <laughs> as usually you know that as usually you know that uh, generally that uh, ionization in energy increases from left to right okay from yes. lithium to neon okay and sodium to argon okay sodium as the power. nuclear charge increases okay oh, so okay. there there will be uh, i think that there are two type of anomalies in group third element is less than group second element okay the first okay. ionization energy a group third element that is less than group second element okay and the first ionization energy of group six element that is less than group fifth element okay uh, how about we continue this tomorrow a bit because <laughs> uh, i'm a little bit tired actually oh, okay no problem almost your one hour class that is completed you can see over here okay a few seconds are yes. there so i will upload that within uh, one or two hours so you can see at any time yes. beta so thanks for today have a great time Yeah. And and, uh, and and the class will be held on 4 p.m. tomorrow your time. Yeah, 4 p.m. Yes, as per my time and whatever trends regarding to trends, it will be second part. Okay. Okay, sure, no problem. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.